Hi guys! So today we're going to be doing a fall makeup look which I'm super stoked about because I haven't done a makeup look since 4th of July. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. But anyways, I'm going to be doing this fall makeup look because I'm actually going to a concert today. I'm going to see Tori Kelly, so that's going to be super exciting and I need some great makeup for this concert. So. I'm going to be using mostly high-end products. Sorry about that. I know people don't really like seeing makeup tutorials with high-end products, but I just wanted to use my best stuff, so that's why that's happening. But they're mostly mini sizes, so no worries. But anyways, that's the deal, and let's get on right into this video. First, we always gotta start with our Mario Badescu spray, and I have the rose water one. When I do my makeup every day, I spray this first. So, sorry I make weird faces when I spray stuff, so get used to that. The very first thing that I do is I do my eyebrows. So, this is gonna take a while, but I do just the basic eyebrow routine. I start on the arch, do the tail, and then go into this inner area and then I do the top, that arch, inner area and fill in. So I'm just going to do a little speed, what is it called, a speed thingy of my eyebrows and all that. I zoomed you guys in for this part. Now we gotta prime those eyelids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the original shade, which I've always used, but I think it's running out actually. Most of the high-end products that I have are mini, so this is a mini, and basically everything is a mini. The only things that aren't are my eyeshadow palette, obviously my foundation, my setting spray, if you consider Morphe high-end. So I've never done a tutorial with this palette yet, but I have the Modern Renaissance palette. Wow, am I late to the game, but I got it for my birthday and I was really, really excited about it. So anyways, I'm just going to be kind of copying a look off of Instagram, but kind of not. It's a halo eye and that's what I'm going to be doing. Actually not Instagram, I'm in Pinterest. That's what we're going to be doing today. So it's going to be red and pinky on the outside and then gold on the inside for the halo. I also forgot that I'm going to be taping my eyes because I struggle with makeup in general. I do this when I do eyeliner because I'm pretty bad at wings, like pretty bad. If you use tape. Don't be ashamed, because we're just trying to get it good, you know what I mean? I don't even know what that means. I'm sorry. First, I'm going to use this slanted brush, and I'm just going to be using the shade Burnt Orange in my crease. Just basic. We just need basic right now. This palette is crazy pigmented. So we're just going to go back and forth and kind of wing it out at the end, too. Now I'm going to be using the Morphe M441 brush and we're going to be using the shade Love Letter in the same spot. Probably just a little bit lower so you can still see the burnt orange, but in the same spot in the crease. You also got to make sure that when you're doing this, you also bring it into your inner corner because this is going to be a halo eye, so we're going to do that later anyways. Might as well start now. Next, we're going to use this shadow Venetian Red just in the crease, but we're going to start bringing it down to our outer corner, inner, inner corner, like you would a halo. So, this is going to be the most intense shadow that you use. And I'm going to use this little basic dome shader brush to do that. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to put down some concealer and just conceal that halo eye 
if you know anything about halo eyes, you kind of have to carve it out with concealer so that your shimmer shade pops a lot. That's the goal. So I'm going to go get my concealer and we're going to do that real fast. So I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution concealer and mine's in the shade C5, even though that's not very important for this. And then I'm going to use the Morphe M124 brush to just pat that down. This can totally be messy. It doesn't have to look perfect just because we're going to be blending it out with shadow anyways. So don't you worry. This is not like an actual cut crease. You're just going to stamp it on like that in the center of your lid. Just make your halos look even, obviously. Now that we are concealed, we're going to use the shade Primavera. And that's going to be our boom <laughs> shimmer shade. So I'm going to use the same brush, the Morphe M124. And I'm going to spray it and then we're going to put that where we concealed. I'm just going to spray it with my NYX Matte Finish Bene matte setting spray. I'm pretty sure I've been saying it wrong all this time because I realized the Fine Matte probably is a different language, but it's fine. Both the concealer and the setting spray make this shadow pop and that is the goal. We want to be shiny. Look at that. That looks awesome. So now that we have our shimmery shade, we're going to be using the shade Red Ochre and we're just going to be intensifying the outer corner and the inner corner. So we're just going to be packing that color in and really just blending the edges of the halo eye as well. So now that we've done that, I'm going to go back in with the very second shade that we use, the Love Letter shade, and just go over the crease and just make sure that's blended as well. So the top of the eyes, <laughs> the eyelids, they're done, so we're just going to wing it out now. And I'm actually using this new eyeliner to me, which is the Milani Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner, the black one, and it's just a felt tip, so I'm going to really try my best. It'll be okay. We'll see what happens. Two hours later. Okay, so that took like 20 minutes, but it's fine. I used makeup wipes, cleaned it up, cleaned up any of the red under my eyes, and I fixed it all. So we're gonna move on to our face. The primer that I'm gonna be using today is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It's just a mini size, don't you worry. I'm just gonna be putting that all over my face. Now for the part that transforms the game foundation. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation in the shade Porcelain that is how white I am. What I used to do is I used to use my beauty blenders dry and I don't know why I did but now that I've applied them wet I don't like understand why anyone would do it dry like it's just the way to go. Sorry for the noise. Now we're going to use concealer. I'm going to use the number 7 Radiant Glow Concealer in the shade 10. It's one of those concealers that you have to, you know, do that. I'm really good at explaining things today. Now we're going to use some loose powder to bake and this is the Laura Mercier powder. It's a mini, don't you worry. And we're just going to bake the under eyes and the other places that get oily because I find that helps them stay not oily and shiny. Now while we let that sit, we're going to do our under eye. Our under eye? Lower lash line. I don't know where I got under eye. So we're going to use the Morphe 408 brush and we're just going to use red ochre first. Mm -hmm. 
Now with the brush that actually comes in the palette, this double-ended one, we're gonna use the shade Cypress Umber and just kind of buff that out because I don't like having red under eyes. I just feel like it makes you look scary. And now we're gonna use the shade Vermeer, Vermeer? Vermeer on our inner corner, just with our finger. Now we're gonna brush away that powder just with this kind of pointed brush. And then we're gonna use the Real Techniques Face Pop Setting Brush. I forgot what it's called. We're gonna use this sample of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder and just set the rest of our face. Now we're gonna contour with the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. And I just use the slanted brush and I use the pointed side. Just get a little bit and then draw out a little bit of a contoured area, like so. Then I use my butter bronzer, which I was using as a mirror, and I just bronze up the face and down the neck too. That is very important to me. Now I'm gonna use some blush. I have this little sample of the Tarte blush in the shade Party, and I love this blush. It's one of my favorites. And we got a highlight, so I'm gonna use the Morphe M441 brush and my Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade Radiant Lights. I'm holding it like this because the lid is broken. So <laughs> this is my first ever highlighter that I've ever bought. We're almost done, I promise. So I'm gonna curl my lashes and then use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Now for lips, I'm gonna do the Burt's Bees Replenishing Lip Balm, the pomegranate one, because I always use this just to help my cracked lips. We're gonna use my tried and true NYX Lip Laundry lipstick in the shade Bedtime Flirt. To finish off, I'm going to use the Mario Badescu spray again, and then I'm going to use my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, and I'm just going to do that. Sorry there's a bunch of noise, my family is running around, but anyways, that's the completed makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know in the comment section any other makeup looks that you would like to see me do because I would love to do this for you. So now it's time to go to a concert and I'll see you guys next Saturday. Bye guys. Uh, slanted? <laughs> it's one of those you can see. I'm gonna use another real text. Now with the brush that actually comes in the palette, whoops. <laughs>